Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. I received a call today from a friend, and she told me that her friend's husband had recently passed away from the coronavirus, and that she had also tested positive for the virus. And because of this, she was self-quarantined and could have no visitors, and that she was in dire straits because she didn't know what to do. She couldn't go and give her husband uh, the proper uh, respect that he needed after his death. Um, she only could take care of herself in her home. Family and friends were not allowed there. And so she asked me if I wouldn't contact her um, by email and just, um, and just let her know that somebody was praying for her. And so that's what I did. I sent her an email and uh, because I wasn't able to call her, I sent her an email and told her that we would tonight pray for her and for the repose of the soul of her husband and to try to give her a little bit of hope that eventually she would be able to give her husband a proper burial and have some kind of closure, uh, but more important than that, to understand the importance of praying at this time uh, praying for strength for herself, for strength for her family, and for the repose of the soul of her husband. And she understandably was, uh, is hurting. And so I would ask you tonight to pray for her and pray for all of those who have lost someone during this uh, pandemic, and also pray for their caregivers. And I told her that prayer is the language of the heart and prayer to Jesus through Mary strengthens us. And I told her in my email about the power of the miraculous medal, that praying through Mary gives us hope and unites us in these most difficult times. And I told her that prayer was all that we could do for her at this time. There was nothing else that was available, but that prayer was very powerful. And whether it was one person praying or 20 people praying, those prayers would be answered by our Blessed Mother and carried to the throne of her Son in heaven, and that her Son in heaven would give her the strength that she needed to get through this difficulty. And we're asking her the same thing for each of us, to help us carry our crosses, to help us get through the difficulties that we are experiencing in our lives, in our community, in our nation, in our world. And Mary is well aware of that. Mary strengthens us, gives us hope. Um, our Blessed Mother, you know, lived the same life that all of us are living. She lived this human life. And she understands about what goes on in our life, about the uncertainties and about the crosses that she bore and we have to bear. Uh, she experienced a death of her husband from, and the death of her son from torture, his suffering. She understands and identifies with us and with her through the circumstances of daily life, she shows us a way of, um, of relating to God, to one another, to suffering and to death and resurrection. And we are attracted to her because she is one of us. And that's the beauty of coming here on Monday evening, knowing that she is or was or is one of us, just like her son is one of us. Uh, he is part of each of us that we, we gain in our baptism, you know, through the Holy Spirit. And so ha knowing that, we know that we can pray to her and we can have the confidence um, uh, that, that she will hear our prayers and that she will ask her son to help us through these most difficult times. Um, and, and, and that's the beauty of this faith that we have. You know, every Monday night we come here and we, we pray this beautiful novena. And uh, I was reading in the um, diary of, uh, of um, St. Faustina, um, talking about uh, God's mercy and God's love and the fact that God hears our prayers and it's so important for us to pray, not only for ourselves, but for those who have gone before us and who may need our prayers to gain everlasting life. 
Uh, every time we pray for, for that, somebody is released from the bonds of purgatory and enters eternal life. And someday we ourselves are going to need those prayers. And that's why it's very important that we instruct others in the importance of prayer. Prayer not only for ourselves, but for others uh, here on earth and those in heaven. And so it's very important tonight, I think, um, uh, more than ever, because of the situation that's going on in our world uh, and, and for the things that are happen to, happening to individuals that um, uh, may not know the power of prayer, that we as a group here uh, of the Novena of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal um, honor her by praying to her. I think that she likes nothing more than to hear our prayers so that she can extend those graces to us and to those that we pray for. So please keep your prayers active. Please pray for this woman. Also, I'd ask you to pray for uh, Deacon Pavarnik, who is recovering from his uh, kidney surgery uh, and also requests our prayers. Um, and so we, we keep those and, and everyone who is uh, feeling the effects of illness, uh, either from the pandemic or other, other um, illnesses, uh, in our thoughts and in our prayers. Thank you. Amen.